In fact, I can prove this to you by what if we just wrote it ourselves? What if we said HG, well, if we said get slash dot dot slash dot dot slash dot 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 some file like Etsy password and then HTTP 1.1 and then RNRN and then we pipe that to netcat localhost 8080. Well, hey, there's my Etsy password file on my Mac. Enjoy it, there it is. That's not great. This is absolutely not great. This is called path traversal, very, very bad. So how do we get around this? You might be thinking base name. There's a couple reasons why that's not great. First of all, it's not built into Bash, so we really can't reach for it. There is a loadable base name plugin, but we can do it ourselves. And how are we gonna do it ourselves? Well, the same way we parse requests. We're gonna do it by hand first, and then we're going to fix it later, okay? So let's go ahead and write our own. Normalize path. This is gonna be our normalized path function. We can iterate on it here, and then we can pull the code into the main code base when we're done. So go ahead and do that. Save it, fim it, and here we go.